killing in the fantasy football season. And here's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking this week. The first guy, Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills. So what a great season it's been for Bass, no doubt about it, this year. And he's had already six fantasy games with double-digit fantasy points. And this week, another great matchup, Week 9 at the Jacksonville Jaguars, where the Buffalo Bills will be living in the red zone, in my opinion, and go on to go for another blowout victory. So right here, the Jacksonville Jaguars give up the eighth most fantasy points to kick is he's going to have many opportunities in this game. He's going to hit probably four or five extra points as well. And Tyler Bass, he's been one of the best kickers this season and last season as well. And this week, I rank him at number one, number two, Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens. So Justin Tucker, we know he's one of the best kickers of all time in NFL history. And this season, he's had some great games and some mediocre games. So the last two games from week six versus the Chargers, 12 fantasy points. And week seven versus Cincinnati, six fantasy points. But this week here, he's got a great matchup versus the Minnesota Vikings in week nine that give up the fourth most fantasy points to kickers. So right here, it wouldn't surprise me to see Tucker be the leading scorer this week. But between him and Tyler Bass, it was a very close race here. But I have Bass at one and Tucker at two. But you can't go wrong with either guy if you got him on your fantasy roster. Number three, Greg the Legs Erline of the Dallas Cowboys. So the Cowboys last week pulled out a big victory versus the Minnesota Vikings. With Dak Prescott out in the last three games now, Greg Zerline, he's putting up major points for fantasy owners. Week 5 versus the Giants, 14. Week 6 at the Patriots, 13. And then last week at the Minnesota Vikings, 8 fantasy points. So right now we don't know the status for sure with Dak Prescott this week here. But either way, this Cowboy team, they've been playing good football. They're getting in the red zone with their running game. And the defense is making plays to give them good field position as well. And this week, they versus a Denver Bronco team that lost their best defensive player, obviously, in Von Miller in a trade to the Los Angeles Rams. So right here, I think Greg the right leg anywhere from 8 to 10 fantasy points is very doable. This week, number four, Matthew Gay of the Los Angeles Rams. So Matt Gay, it's been a good season for him, and he's one of the most high-powered offenses on the year. And right here, he's pretty much, like I mentioned each and every week, guaranteed seven or more fantasy points. And this week, a good matchup at home versus the Tennessee Titans, which I think is going to be a mini shootout in that ball game, where the Los Angeles Rams are just going to route them with a big blowout victory, especially with Derrick Henry out. So right here, this Ram offense is one of the best in the league, if not the best. It's very close, in my opinion. And right here, they're rolling. Matthew Gay, he gets plenty of opportunities. And like I mentioned, seven or eight points at least he's going to get this week. The last three weeks for him, week six at the Giants, eight points. Week seven versus Denver, nine. And week eight at Houston, seven. So right here versus Tennessee, he'll be within those numbers this week. Number five, Harrison Bucker of the Kansas City Chiefs. So this Chief team, I don't know this season, man. I think the blueprint's out on Patrick Mahomes and his throwing ability in this offense. Because we've seen struggles now from Kelsey and Mahomes over the last few weeks. And Harrison Bucker, though, the last couple weeks, the last three out of four games, he's had very good fantasy days. After getting off to a slow start, week five versus Buffalo, 10 points. Week six of Washington, nine. Week seven of Tennessee, four. Week eight versus the Giants, eight fantasy points. So right here, week nine versus the Green Bay Packers. This ball game definitely could be a mini shootout, even though word is coming that Aaron Rodgers is going to be out. So right here, the Chiefs most likely will swamp this team here, even though the Green Bay defense has been really good this season here. And I think Harrison Bucker, once again, could get seven or eight points because this offense, they're just not clicking on all cylinders, especially in the red zone here for the Chiefs. And there'll be a few times where he'll settle for field goals. The next kick in number six, Greg Joseph of the Minnesota Vikings. So Greg Joseph, this season, he's been one of the best kickers in fantasy football. In the last three weeks, he's really turned it on. Week five versus Detroit. 17 week six at the Panthers eight and week eight versus the Dallas Cowboys 11 so this week here it's another good matchup in my opinion for Joseph at the Baltimore Ravens even though the Ravens give up the seventh least amount of fantasy points to kickers there's going to be a lot of times where the Vikings are going to have to settle once again in my opinion like they did versus the Dallas Cowboys in week eight's ball game so Joseph in then in this one anywhere from seven to ten fantasy points I definitely could see him getting, and I got him in number six, number seven, Nick Folk of the New England Patriots. And Nick Folk here, what a season it's been for him, and he's up there as one of the top scorers in all of fantasy football at the kicking position. And the last two weeks, he's put up huge games. Week seven 
versus the Jets, 12 fantasy points. And week 8 at the Chargers, 14. So right here, week 9 at the Carolina Panthers. This could be a ball game where I think you'll get two or three opportunities to kick field goals in this one. And a few extra points as well. This Panther defense is mediocre and a bend but don't break type of D. And right here, I think this ball game could be in the high 20s or low 20s type of game where Falk could get once again two or three field goal attempts and a few extra points. Number eight, Matt Prater of the Arizona Cardinals. So it's been a weird year here for Matt Prater. Some big games and some games where it's just been extra point games for him in this high-powered offense over there in Arizona. And this week, they got a good matchup at the San Francisco 49ers. We'll give up the 13th most fantasy points to kick it. So Prater this season, three games with double-digit fantasy points. But he's usually around as well, seven to nine fantasy points on most week. And last week was just a fluke, in my opinion, where he only had three. So this week, I think he gets back on track and has a good game. And he's a number eight safe play right there. Number nine, Brandon McManus of the Denver Broncos. So McManus, he got off to a hot start early in the season. But the opportunities haven't really been there much in the last three weeks for him. Week six versus Vegas, six fantasy points. Week 7 at the Browns, 2 fantasy points. And Week 8 versus the Washington football team, 6 fantasy points. But this week here, Week 9 at the Dallas Cowboys, I think this could be a mini type of shootout ball game. And the Broncos, if they want to keep up with this offense, especially if Dak Prescott is back in the lineup this week, they're going to have to put up points. They're going to have to try long field goals in AT&T Stadium. So McManus in this one, I think he has a decent ball game. And I think anywhere from 6 to 10 points, is definitely a possibility. Number 10, Dustin Hopkins of the Los Angeles Chargers. So Hopkins, it was a little surprising to me that the Washington football team got rid of him. And last week in his debut with the Chargers, seven fantasy points. And right here in week nine at the Philadelphia Eagles, I think the Chargers here are going to have a few opportunities to score the football, or at least be in the red zone and attempt field goal attempts. So right here, Hopkins, he's a pretty accurate kicker. Philly, hopefully the weather's decent weather this week here to hold up where he could have some opportunities because they'll definitely be there. And this guy anywhere from 30 to 45 yard range, he's pretty much automatic. And he's a kicker I have at number 10, number 11, Evan McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. So Evan McPherson last week, it was a down week for him. Only six fantasy points versus the New York Jets. But the two weeks before that, week six at Detroit, 11 and week 7 at Baltimore, 13. So this week here, week 9 versus the Cleveland Browns. They give up the second least amount of fantasy points to kickers. And McPherson actually got dropped in 13% of leagues. But this week, I think he gets back on track here. I think he has a good ball game. And right here versus the Browns, I could see this be a type of low-scoring, grinded-out divisional matchup where both kickers are going at it in this one. So McPherson, I got 11 and the 12th and final kicker. I'm ranking this week's Michael Badgley of the Indianapolis Colts. So Badgley and the Colts versus the New York Jets on Thursday Night Football. And right here, Badgley's been a good pickup and fill-in, in my opinion, for Rodrigo Blankenship over the last few weeks here. So since he joined Indianapolis, Week 6 versus Houston 8. Week 7 at San Francisco, 7 fantasy points. And Week 8 versus 10 at C7. So right here, Week 9, the Jets give up the third most points. To kick is and right here I think Badge we have many opportunities in this game and he has a good matchup as well in week 10 versus Jacksonville that gives up the eighth most fantasy points to kick is so right here Badge we could be a two week use in my opinion and he's still available in 88% of fantasy weeks so that's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking here for week nine of the fantasy football season.